So one of the things I'd observed was that the, if, you, if you look at sort of the science of how management happens, there's actually very little science. There's a lot of books, and there's a lot of professors looking at it, but professors, what they do is, and I'm going to generalize and, you know, in the hopes of offending everyone equally. <laughs> um, professors, what they, you know, a, a colleague of mine who was a professor says, academic research is really just the study of college sophomores because they do a study and then they put a sign in the college that says, you know, participate in this study, we'll pay you five pounds, and then they publish an article saying this is, this is what humanity is like. So academia is incredibly useful and a seed for a lot of the things we then sort of nurture and grow. Um, but it doesn't tie to the real world. Consultants, I know, kind of come up with an idea or they benchmark and say this worked in this place, therefore it must work in lots of other places, but they don't actually do an academically rigorous study. Uh, and most HR departments, don't have the analytic rigor to actually do academic quality work. And so the vision was, there's all these questions we don't know. What actually makes a good manager? Is leadership born or can you, can you inculcate it? And there's a lot of ideas and theories, right? But there's very little evidence. So for example, we, we at one point looked at performance management, did an exhaustive academic review. A lot of companies are now saying, well, performance management, waste of time, everyone hates it, we're just not gonna do it. We found that across all the research, only one thing was actually proven, which is it's important to have goals. Makes sense. But everything else, how many times you do, how often you do performance management, how many categories in your rating system, how to give feedback, no conclusive evidence whatsoever. And so the idea was, if I could bring people together who had an analytic mindset and skill set, we could actually start proving some of these things.